I had to turn it up a little bit cause they start hate. Like, like, like comment, and subscribe, tell me why you wait. The real breezy TV on in that type of day. What's up guys? It's your girl and I'm back on another video. And today we will be creating a design for some silky socks women's boy shorts. So I'm gonna try my best to make this video as um brief as possible, but as detailed as I can. So I already have my canvas page already out. So what I want to do is I want to create a Valentine's Day design for these women's boy shorts. So I'm just going to look for some hearts, see what I can find, see what I like. Um, Because I'm going to make these for me. I wish I could use these little hearts, but, you know, because they move around. But they move around, so I can't do them. But I'm excited about doing this. So let's find us a heart. Hmm. This isn't bad. Let's use this one. So we're going to expand it on all sides. We're going to have a whole, just a whole sheet of the hearts. It's so cute. Whatever. Okay. So since we did that, now we are going to find another design to put inside of it, just symbolizing or saying something about valentine's day so let's see what we can find okay so what we got here i don't think i'm gonna do too many more hearts because um yeah i don't think i'm gonna do too many more hearts so you know what this wasn't isn't, this one isn't too here we go so i think we're gonna do a couple of these make them a little we're gonna make it a little smaller um what do you call it the pink white maybe we should do pink i'm just trying to pick all these other colors but i really feel like pink would be the best but then again this red really looks really good okay so we're gonna go with the red and we're going to duplicate these just enough to spread them around the whole design so we can have them going around going on the going around and all over the underwear. Just gonna place them here, here, there, there, there. And the good thing about custom items, like I always say, that like no one knows if you messed up or what, you know. You decide what 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 are you doing? Okay, so you decide how you want it to look, and it's perfect either way. So I'm gonna probably add one more, maybe. Oh, bring it back. Okay, there we go. Put here we go. Put that right there. That over. Put that right there. Over. Uh, maybe we should do another one. Should we do another one? Yeah, let's add another one. Put that right there. Put it down. Okay, now I feel like we missing something. Let's go back and get. S Maybe we will do a few more hearts. I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Ah, lips. Yes, yeah, so we'll do the lips. Something pretty. Well, look at that. I think that looks good. Mm hmm. Couple of those and just put them in the spaces. Um, the open spaces you cannot go wrong with some hearts it says happy valentine's day with a bunch of kissy lips because the kissy lips bring it out and you already know valentine's day and kissy lips they go good together <laughs> okay so we're going to create this real fast and then we're going to save it and then we're going to go print this baby out so I'm going to go ahead and throw the time lapse on it um, to finish up what I'm doing here. And then we'll go ahead and print it out. Um, click share first. And then we're going to save it as a PNG. We're going to do a transparent, transparent background, even though we don't really need a transparent background. But we're going to do it anywhere. We're going to save it to whatever folder you decide to save it to in your computer. And we are going to go ahead and print this baby out. See you at the heat press. Okay, so what we do need to do from from the very start is we want to 
lint roll our garment because we don't want any lint. If you, if you heat press any lint with a polyester garment, you will get blue specks. And you don't want the blue specks, trust me. The blue specks suck. Yes? Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> he said, I got it. Okay, so we get all of our lint off of our off of our garment. I'm excited to see what this looks like. I'm gonna bring it all the way up here because I want also like my the rum to stay, you know. Um, and be mindful that these have these creases. Like the under the scene and stuff, you might not, you ain't gonna be able to get all of that. So that's fine. That's how it's gonna go. So I'm gonna move this over here for a second because I need to line my heat press with some butcher paper because I don't want to mess up. Okay, so. Got my stuff all lined up, right? So I got my undies over here. So I'm gonna put it this way. Okay, well first of all, I am going to cut this. This over here like this. I want to cut it. So where's the, the white parts? It's not even one for us. Okay, so what I want to do first is I just want to take this and I just want to press it and get some of the moisture out. Definitely have any of it. What is it on this one? 323. Okay, so let's just press this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and put it like this because I want like that. Okay, so we're gonna take some tape. And we're gonna tape her down. I don't want to press the inside of the leg. I just want to press the outside of the leg. How that's gonna look okay and then we're definitely gonna turn it over turn it over make sure everything is good on it everything is straight and we 
are still waiting for it. It's like 3:45 now, so I'm going to finish letting the heat. I'm going to finish letting the heat up, and then we're going to go ahead and press it. And I think I'm also going to tape the paper down to the um, butcher paper as well, just because I don't want no lift ups, you know. No lift ups. And this is a hot pill too, so I need to be careful with all this damn tape. It'd be hard to take it over, but I don't want I want it to be perfect. Okay. So we are about ready to press. Okay, so now he presses at 386 degrees, and I'm going to do, it says 40, 30 to 45 seconds, but I'm going to do it for 50 seconds, just because uh, that's just, that's just what I do, so, you know, don't, don't judge me. I'm going to go ahead and put another sheet of butcher paper on the top of the image, because I don't want to get any ink on my platen, and let's see how this turns out. that smoke up. Uh, and you know when you can see the image through the paper that means that it's sublimated so we're gonna have to try to pull this up fast because it is a hot pill oh that looks nice Oh, what's the line? Oh, the line is from, why is that like that? Look at the line in there. But that's from my, that's from my, um, from the, I guess from the tape. Or whatever, but they still look good. So as you see, they still look good, but there is a little line. And the colors, it's like, it's weird because, I don't know, maybe it's my ink. I don't know what's going on, but it's pink down here and then red up here. I need a new sublimation printer. But they, as you can see, they do sublimate. It's just my issue with the tape. And maybe I shouldn't have taped it down then. But it definitely looks good. And don't even pay because this right here, you can't get in there. So definitely looks good. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna press the other side. I'm gonna show you guys how I connect the pages as well. Why is that like that pink thing on here? But I mean, well, I really did see a difference between the pink and the red. Maybe this, yeah, because this one looks. Coming out looks more pink as well. So this is what, but it should have been red. But I kind of think it kind of blends, so it doesn't look too bad. But the little, but the lines from the paper is what's throwing me off. And as you can see, I was trying to not to get, because I didn't want to get the inside of it but I guess I guess that's okay and there is a little spot right here where it was creased so right there but that's okay These are, this is a, a item if you're selling them you should put a disclaimer with them in the description of the product and let them know that you know there may be some irregular 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 there might be some <laughs> Irregular, I can't even say it. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Let them know that there might be some spots that were not are not able to be um, sublimated. Some irregular, irreg. I can't even say it. But okay. But y'all know what I mean, though. So yeah. So, I don't know. This one might this this one might turn out to be what pink. I don't know. I don't know. You know. But we gonna press, but we gonna press these babies because 
at the end of the day, the whole point of the video was to show how well and how good Silky Socks items sublimate. And look at that. The color is definitely popping. We'll do the other side and hopefully, you know. Because, like, what was that? To be from the paper. And you know what? I also, what I probably have to, have to change is because when I, I when I have to print out her image and blow it up to cover something um, for me to connect my pages, I actually have it on a, I use um, Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat, and the Acrobat, like, you can, you can pick how far you want it to be to, for you to connect the pages, like, this don't go with this, but if I was to, like, for you to be able to connect the pages, I can't really explain it, but, um, I'll be doing the 0 0.9, I'm thinking maybe I need to change it to maybe like a 0 0.7 or a 0 0.5 and see how that works, um, so I think that's probably what that, that's the, that's, I think that's what that's from. Okay, so I take heat tape and I put it on the edge of this and I'll flip it over and then I'll connect it over here, connect this end to this end so that it's even and everything matches up. then I'll just connect it that way. So that was one whole sheet. I do need a little bit more because this is not big enough so I have one more sheet printing out. It's literally like just like the edge would be hanging off. So I really can stop because I have this that I cut from the other one. And I can just Over here, like this. Yeah, that don't match up. That don't match up. We're gonna let this other one print out. And uh, uh, this other side of the lace gonna be pink. <laughs> I don't know. I need a new. I need a new printer. I need to go ahead and get that Epson ET15000. But I'm gonna wear these suckers, okay? Cause I didn't buy them for nothing. But you can see how well they press though. Like, so I need one more little piece for over here. Even though I could take this piece and just add it anywhere, right? Just add it. Cause I guess it really don't matter, especially because it's the edge anyway. This is printing out, so I'm gonna go ahead and just let it print out. And I think it's gonna be pink. It's gonna look like this. I don't know what what happened with this. And I did just change my ink too, which sucks. So I did just change my ink, so that's probably why. But the image is supposed to be black for real, for real. I mean, black and red, but. But they are, but they come, or they come out really good though. I loved it. Look at that. Damn it. I do have some men's boxes that I want to do too. I always remember when you, when you're doing this kind of stuff, nothing's going to be perfect. This is why I have no problem with record my videos and showing you everything all of my screw ups everything because it's going to be times when you mess up like it's always going to be times when you mess up so that's not that's not a that, that's not a problem you know we're just going to have to learn from our mess ups and try to make sure we don't do them again that's all Come on, Tate.
just gonna go ahead and just tape it down. And we're gonna press it. And watch how this sucker be paper. <laughs> watch how this sucker be paper. Watch how this sucker be paper. I forgot I didn't um, tape that piece there. We have to take that piece there. But let's prep our. There's tapes already. I'm just gonna make sure that this. Okay, so let's tape down. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece right here because that's tape here. This is why it is good to have a large format printer because, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and cover this bad boy up. And we're going to press it again. Oh, yeah, it looks pink. Okay, it looks pink. I don't know what's going on with this printer. I mean, it's, it's okay, you know. And you can still see the lines from the paper. But for the most part, it came out good. And that line is like there. Same exact line. So, so I just need to change some of my settings. But for the most part, this is what it looks like. They came out great. No matter what... You know, there are some Ill, some irregular irregulars irreg, irregularities so whatever you know you know what i'm saying but here we go it's crazy red and pink on this side and just fully pink on this side but hey they they my panties okay <laughs> it's hot it's hot so this is how they came out if you do want to purchase any of the silky socks products you can get that by going to my description down below clicking affiliate link for these underwear these are women's boy shorts from silky socks which you can get again at he transfer warehouse the link will be in the description down below these things are very very pretty though look at it how they sublimate and for a pair of these I swear I will charge somebody um maybe like 15 to 20 dollars I will charge um for these particular ones but if it was a custom one maybe like they want their face on it or whatever because you could do whatever you want to put on these as long as you have a sublimation printer you can do it um so if it's a customized one and want to say some say something you know or pictures or anything like that i would probably charge maybe about 25 you know custom items are worth more so don't just just don't short yourself because i ain't doing it i'm i'm tired of shirting myself it ain't happening no more so these babies look good i can't wait to wear them and then a good thing again about custom items even if you mess them up nobody knew that you mess nobody knows that you mess them up unless you say so because this looks like it blends besides the fact that a little the line but this looks like it bent like it's like it's blended so it's not playing this this don't look tough and then the back is all pink so it looked like it went from red here and then made its way over here to become pink and then you turn it over the back of it is all pink so I can rock with it um, I do have oh look at my little line on the side what I do wrong oh no that's the that's the crease of the uh, either way looks good so go ahead and grab yourself some silky socks from heat transfer warehouse the link is in the description down below i would like to thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and be breezy oh, wait do you guys see this shirt you guys see this shirt this shirt i made this shirt it's blingage 
These are Wallace stones right up here and down here from Heat Transfer Warehouse. These stones I got from, um, I want to say Wick Street Vinyl. But yes, the Wallace stones, everything is blinging, looking good, glistening. Make sure you guys watch this video to when I made this shirt. It looks amazing. Be breezy. Thank you. Next one.